All right, in this lesson, we're going to be doing some uh, solo acoustic blues. And this is Worrying You Off My Mind by Big Bill Brunsby. So, um, solo acoustic blues. So it's finger style. It it's, uh, can be pretty complicated. Um, so this one I found seemed to be a little easier. So we'll start here. Um, and it's in the key of E flat and we're tuned down a half step. So make sure you're tuned down a half step to be in tune with the original uh, uh, Brunzi recording, Big Bill Brunzi recording. So half step, E flat, and then uh, A flat. D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. That's where you want to be. Or D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp. All right, so we're going to start with an E7 chord. And some of these old blues tunes, they got, they're not 12 bar blues necessarily. They're kind of eight bar and they kind of add some bars in, excuse me. Um, so you just have to follow along, listen to the tune. It's important to listen to the tune. So we're gonna start with this E7 chord. So I'm playing an E major chord and I'm gonna be using my pinky to bend this note. So he's, he's playing open E and the high E string together and he's bending this together just you're just bending that slightly a quarter bend okay then we go then take that off and hit open E like that now you might be wondering why am I holding this whole chord if we're just doing one if you bump other strings with your fingers, you'll still be playing notes in an E chord and it won't sound bad. Two, you'll see the next note we have to hit is in this chord, so it's... You hit the D string, second fret. And then two hits on the E, low E. Like that, okay? So we have. Sorry, one more time. And if you notice too, there's a, it start, it's in 12 8, and it starts with a quarter note or an eighth note rest. So it's. And then you kind of hit, you can kind of hit these lower notes. Okay. And he slides into the A. Now we're going to the four chord, the A chord, an A7. So from the two to the four on the E string to open A. And then he does this little um, lead thing. So let, let's come back to that. Let's get those first two bars down good. So that's where we're at. Okay. Now we have this little lick over A. So he's sliding from one to two on the B string and hitting the open E. And then three, two, zero, two. And then he does this pull off, three, two to zero on the E string. Okay, so we have We hit open E and open A. 
And then kind of a similar lick. It's a little, little easier. Okay, so let's go back. Then we're gonna go to the B chord. So already we're not following the standard 12 bar blues. Uh, this is the intro, so it's, it's just an intro. We're gonna do a chromatic walk up to B. Open A, one, two. And then another lick. Open, two, three, four. And then open E. So we have. So going back to the beginning. Then we have this lick. This is a weird lick. So it's, uh, let's see, where are we at? You're gonna slide from two to four on the G string. Then four zero. Two zero on the B. Two on the G. Back to B, open B string. Then back to two. Then. The timing of it's weird though. So it's uh. Like that. Like that. Okay, so, um, we have, this is our E7. A. B. And then we're back to E. And here now he does a little chromatic thing. Two, one, zero, two, one, two. So it's. And we have this little double stop within the E chord. So you're playing an E major chord. And then you're gonna pick the D and G strings and hammer that first finger down on the first fret of the G string. And he's just kind of strumming here, or just picking notes, but there. Then the B and E strings together. Then the thumb on the uh, D string. Then back to the B and E string. Then open E. Then D. So he's kind of really alternating. Between the E and the higher octave E on the D string. Sort of what he's doing.
right, so that's our intro. It's a lot. It's hard. It took me a while to get this down. I'm still not super comfortable with it. So um, if you need to pause and just work on that intro for a day or two, get that down real good. The verse is similar, but a little different. So now we're going to start that. So we got um, E7. So we're going to start. And now we're going to start on the downbeat. So we have a open E's together. And then just the high E by itself. So we have open E, open E's together, then high E by itself, then we have open E and three together with that slight bend, then three by itself, then three and open E together. So we have. Then the two on the D string, then the open E. Just like we did before. So we have. Then we're going to go to the A7. So two bars of E. Now, on the A, he just really does a bass thing. Sorry. That's all he does on the A. So we go E to A. And then you go four on the A string and two, you're alternating between the four on the A string, which is the major third of A, and the two on the E string, which is the five of A. Like that. And at the end, he arpeggiates a little bit, hits the B, G, open E, and then we're on the E7 chord again. <clears throat> so we have. Like that. So far, the verse. Okay, now on this bar, we're going to go back to the B7 now. So we go, we have our little double stop, hit the open E, then the E and the D string together, then the open E and B, so we have Then you're going to hit the D again. And then right before, the eighth note before the next bar downbeat, you're going to hit the two on the B string. And then you're going to, he leaves this, the flat, he makes, on the B7, he makes the third a minor third. So normally we would play this. He's doing this. Not playing the he's he's making the third a flat third. So you're gonna go into that B7 bar like this. Alright, so let's come back to that. Let's go through all of the verse. Now 
I see I'm used to doing that. But it's open E, so that's how it would sound. Okay, then here, we're just kind of arpeggiating. So he hits the E and B strings together, and then the B and G strings together. Like that. And then he does this little lick. He's gonna, you're gonna slide in. You're gonna do this chord shape. It's kind of a seven chord. Um, so it's four, four, and four. A string, G string, E string. So it's gonna, so it's, you're gonna slide it back. So A string and then G and B strings together, and then B and E strings together, and then back to the G and e B string together. Same thing on the, when you move it back a whole step. And that's how we go back to the E7. So let me go over that again. From We'll go from uh, the bar before we go to the B7. Sorry. Like that. Then we have this lick. Oh, sorry. And that lick is three, two, zero to two on the B string. And then you do it again. Well, sort of. You don't do the open E the second time. So I'm hitting, at the end of that, I'm hitting the D and B string, and E strings together, holding an e, e, e chord. All right, so let's go back. Okay, so we just have that last bar to finish off. Then low E. Then our little double stop. Just like that. And then it just repeats the verse, okay? So Let's go through the verse one more time, nice and slow. And uh, it, it's tough playing the, uh, playing the melody and the bass and all the chord and stuff together. It's basically a chord melody tune. Uh, it, it's hard to do, so it just takes time. You got to take it a bar at a time.
and there you have it. So um, that's worrying you off my mind. Big Bill Brunzi, solo acoustic blues. Again, don't get frustrated. It's, it's kind of hard to play it note for note. And when you listen to it, you're going to hear those old recordings. They're not, they're not really kind of keeping time a lot. They're just kind of, they're just winging it and freestyling it. And it sounds really cool. So, you know, don't beat yourself up too much if you're not right on it all the time because they weren't. So uh, there you have it. I hope you enjoy that lesson. Take your time. It could take you, it took me just playing this every night for a week to even get here and I still feel like I'm a little sloppy with it. So uh, don't get discouraged. Stick with it. Hang with it. And uh, we'll see you in the, on the next one.